Hello guys, I'm Premchand Sao, one of the students of BBM Koilanchal University, Dhanban. And uh, today I am going to discuss a very important question uh, which is asked in the Minova Bhave University this year. Question is proved that a necessary condition for the function k zeta x to be a Fourier kernel is that the Malin transform of k of s of the function kx should satisfy the functional equation ks into k1 minus s equals to minus 1. Many of my friends have asked me this question because its solution is very rare to them and I have uh, prepared a project dissertation on the topic Malin transform so uh, a short research is done by me that's why I am able to solve this question. So first of all take or construct the integral equation 0 to infinity f zeta k x zeta d zeta is equals to zx where x is non-negative that is greater than 1 now the applications of Malin transform application of Malin transform <coughs> with respect to x to equation 1 combined with results okay, combined with results which results the properties of Malin transforms results okay so the application of Malin transform with respect to x to equation 1 combined with the uh, properties and results of Malin transform we get f cycle 1 minus p k cycle p is nothing but equals to z cycle p which gives replacing p by 1 minus p now we replace p by 1 minus p okay we get f cycle p equals to z cycle 1 minus p s cycle p okay uh, what is here s cycle p so let's see where s cycle p is nothing but 1 upon k cycle 1 minus p okay <clears throat> now the inverse inverse Malin transform I am using the denotion MT MT means uh, Malin transform combined MT short form combined with results which results properties of MT Malin transform combined with results leads us to the solution fx equals to I mean inverse of z cycle 1 minus p s cycle p okay this is not the final result okay, I'm on uh, simplifying this fx equal to m inverse z cycle 1 minus p s cycle p okay we'll get <coughs> we'll get integral from 0 to infinity z zeta h x zeta d zeta okay 
plus okay 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 this is correct and let this be equation number two so provided there are some conditions okay we have to write the condition to write this one okay what is the condition condition is nothing but sx equals to m inverse s cycle p exist okay this quantity should be exist what if not exist if it is not exist it will not exist then the solution is not possible okay now in particular we'll deal with particular cases h cycle p equals to k cycle p if s cycle p equals to k cycle p let's see what happens then the solution okay of 2 what is 2 2 is this one fx equals to 0 to infinity z zeta s x zeta d zeta this is 2 then equation solution of 2 becomes fx equals to 0 to infinity z zeta k x zeta d zeta let this be equation 3 so provided we are only able to write this one provided k cycle p and k cycle 1 minus p equals to 1 okay the examiner may ask this condition also okay so this is the actual condition of melin transform i am some correction needs in the question this is melin transform okay this is melin transform this is our final result okay if the question asks for Courier kernel, Courier kernel. Okay, here it is corrected by mistake. I have written here the not here the Fourier or Fourier condition. Okay, so if Fourier condition is asked to Fourier kernel, then nothing complexity. Okay, nothing is complex for using as Fourier kernel replace p by s and 1 by minus 1 so that so that mm, Fourier can oh sorry 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 question is correct it is question is correct question is it is Fourier raster I have not noticed a previous section okay so using Fourier kernel replace p by s and 1 by minus 1 so that k cycle s into k cycle 1 minus s is minus 1 this is our second result and here is the solution asked in the question okay so i think this is very important solution you should look at i have constructed this function okay this integral and uh, applied the applications of melin transform and got this which gives <coughs> replacing t by 1 minus p this one where a cycle p is this and the inverse melin transform combined with the result lead to the solution this one <coughs> and this is nothing but equal to this one i have got it to equation number two provided sx equal to this exists in particular if it nice if not and then uh, fx is this one this is 3 and provided this condition so it is melin transform condition okay melin kernel transform condition now if for your kernel is asked in question then we should replace p by s and 1 by minus 1 so to get the solution i think it is very very important so you all should remember this one thank you very much i am with you for any queries regarding the solution your comments are welcomed I welcome your all comments, suggestions and all the things that you want to express me. Thank you.